Hello, creating games can be difficult. Making your game look perfect is even more difficult. So today I wanted to give some advice on improving the look of your game. I'm gonna give some of my favorite advice along with going over the aspects you should really focus on to improve the overall look of your game. I really hope you can learn something from this video and it can help you to improve the look and feel of that game you are currently working on. And well, firstly, a big piece of advice that I think affects many developers is not focusing enough on the sound effects and music until the game is almost complete. Remember, the audio of the game is just as important as the artwork. Sometimes it is easy to forget about the audio as you are developing, and this happens to so many, including me. But my advice to you is to focus on the audio all throughout the development process because pushing it to the end makes the audio come off as either lazy or rushed. Think about every major game. They all have a very fitting soundtrack. Or maybe think about your favorite movie. The audio is just as or more important than what you actually see on the screen. So treat audio the same way that you treat artwork. Create the audio as the game comes together all throughout the development stages so when you get to the very end, you don't rush the process. But another piece of advice is to focus on creating satisfying mechanics. Your game needs to be addicting. Creating something satisfying is really going to entice the player to keep playing. Whether that be smooth flowing player movement, a slight screen shake when the player is attacked, a parallax background, or even just a quick responding aesthetic looking menu. And to be honest, the best way to go about creating this satisfying feel for your game is to just try out new things. Test out 10 different styles of player movement, try different sound effects, maybe adjust the camera over and over until the game feels just right. We all know how important it is to create a game that has great mechanics, ideas, and artwork, but it is even more important to make sure that on top of all that, it feels right to the player when playing. This is a hard bit to explain, so hopefully that made a bit of sense, but simply just try and give your player a satisfying, smooth gaming experience. My next piece of advice is to focus on lighting, and that is because lighting is truly one of the most powerful tools in all of game dev. The lighting of a scene completely determines the mood of that scene. For example, a dimmer scene can be scary or stressful while a brighter scene is more calming or fun. The angle of light is also important. This is a bare platformer scene with no light, but if we add an array of light here, it gives the game a whole different feel, almost like we are in a cave and there is just this whole world out there to explore. But if we move that light ray to this position, it will make the player feel like they need to get to the light source, which from a developer's view basically just makes the position we want the player to get to more noticeable. I'm actually working on a really in-depth Godot lighting tutorial right now because lighting is so important, so be sure to subscribe. Okay, I wanna quickly go over some important aspects that will really affect the overall look and feel of your game that I believe you should be focusing on all throughout the development stages. Smoothen out movements of all kinds, whether that be the player, enemy, NPC, camera movement, or even moving platforms. All the art needs to match. Colors, styles, sounds, they all need to go together, and the best way to perfect art is to ask for feedback on it. Also, when creating art and music, think about the mood that it creates for your game. Make sure as you develop, you are really thinking about user interface and the overall player experience, and also the overall organization and planning because those two things will really affect the chances of you even finishing your project. I know all that seems kind of basic, but it truly is the most important part of the game and perfecting these aspects on top of having an idea that is unique and entertaining will surely make a game that so many people would love to play. Okay, so themes. A difficult piece of advice that I myself am not very good at is color. Or color theory, color bending, color, whatever it may be. It is important to understand how important color is and I recommend you look into it. Because most games you play probably have a very strict color palette for the most part and it makes those games look so put together. I am currently learning pixel art and I am starting to realize just how important understanding colors are. Adobe Color is a really helpful tool for this that is completely free so I really recommend you look into it. But it helps you create color palettes based around the color rules. Not sponsored or anything, it just has been very helpful to me, so I thought I would share it. I know this was a bit of a quick video, but I hope you were able to take an idea from this video and improve the look of something in your game. I have just created a Discord server where you can share your projects and get feedback on them, and I will leave that linked in the description below. But thank you so much for watching, I really do hope it helps. And if you have any questions, then please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you. Again, thank you, stay safe, have a wonderful rest of your day, and bye bye.